This is a quick and dirty teardown of a CX-03 wireless charger and chiller. This is a 15 watt Qi wireless charger that also includes a tech cooler or otherwise called a potier device that will cool the wireless charging end by pumping heat from there out to its other side where it's then dissipated by a heat sink and fan. I've already disassembled this, but I'll go over that. You first peel off the top. It's just adhered on with some thermal, has some thermal paste on the back. You remove three screws to remove the alignment magnets. You pull that up. Then in between you have a sandwich with the heatsink, the fan, the potier device, all of this. So that pulls apart. The fan is connected to the PCB. There is the tech cooler, a potier device. This is the cold end that goes against the wireless charging coil and your phone. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of markings or information. You can see this is model CX-03, which turns up similar devices. Here's a Potier device. This model number gives no results online, but they're somewhat the same. Annoyingly, this 16-pin IC and these two 8-pin ICs have no uh, markings visible through this very thick and firm conformal coating. Googling similar devices shows that um, this IC actually never has a marking or known name. It's just some generic 15 watt WPC slash Qi slash MagSafe charger. These over here are just MOSFETs. You can tell by their very beefy output legs. You can see on the back, there's lots of traces showing a lot of stuff wrapping around this PCB. So even though the design is somewhat standard, it's impressive that the engineers for this actually designed a whole PCB that fits in this very awkward U-shape and engineered in support for this tech cooler. I assume that the tech cooler just triggers whenever any charging happens. Maybe it's tied to what would otherwise be an LED output or something easy. I was hoping that I could reverse engineer this so I could replace the USB-C with any 12 to 15 volt output for car applications, but I'll have to do some hand reverse engineering for that. Thank you for watching this teardown. Um, also, I didn't test this before disassembly. It does work well. It generates um, the pumps heat away from the cool from the charging pad. It does get cool to the touch, and it does trigger 10 watt fast charging on the Samsung Fold 4. Thanks for watching.